Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on. Let me welcome you to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. You know, it was at one time we would say collectively, and that's how we should know that we're all just interchangeable at this point. We used to say that, you know, black folks would never kill their relatives for the insurance policies. You know, it's something that never crossed our mind. In fact, we used to look at all those movies and um, see Caucasian folk killing their grandfather or, uh, you know, mom or dad for it in uh, their insurance. And you would like, why would they do that? You know, they probably had the inheritance coming anyway. But, you know, maybe they didn't want to wait or whatever the case you would always see these movies. And so I kind of associate that, and excuse me, all my Caucasian listeners, <coughs> excuse me, but that's just part of my prejudice, or at least it was, um, that usually white folk, and so I still will say that, usually probably more than not, white folk are uh, proportionately killing their relatives more than we do for money because most of us don't have any money. A lot of us, when we die, a lot of folk go to GoFundMe. So I wasn't thinking about it, though, in those terms. I was just thinking about it in the terms is that, like, that's something morally we used to didn't do. We we used to didn't um, even think about doing anything like that. But it's a new day. It's a new day. And the reason why I'm back here is because this is part two of Tim's psychotic ass drowning in debt in over his head. His mom already sued him. So he was just waiting for the appropriate time because according to this article, it says Miss Robbie was Tim's next target. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Miss Robbie was Tim's next target. According to a family source, Tim Norman has a million dollar life insurance policy on his mother, Miss Robbie, and the family is scared for her life. What is Sam's tarnation, as Barbie God would say? Tim has a life insurance policy on Mrs. Robbie worth more than a million dollars. A family source told AllAboutTheTea.com, Tim was drowning in debt. His Jackson, Mississippi location was derailed because of coronavirus. Wow. He owed a lot of people money. He also owes Janae $1,000 in back child support, and he owes back back taxes. Please, whatever you do, keep our family in your prayers. Now, uh, Jennifer Williams added her two cents to the drama by uh, saying of her ex arrested on federal stimming charges, the murder charges. She posted her thoughts on Instagram after the news broke of Tim's arrest. And she stated that karma will get you one way or another. The truth always reveals itself, Jennifer wrote, adding, condolences to the family. I can't imagine how this dose of truth is hitting. 
Jennifer Williams and Tim Norman shared a rocky relationship, and Jennifer even accused a reality personality star of stalking, reporting him to the Los Angeles Police Department. Tim has been hit with numerous lawsuits excuse me, over unpaid business debts and is currently facing multiple legal battles. On top of Tuesday's charges. Remember he had assault charges. And... Wow. Welcome to Sweetie Pie. It was a hugely popular reality show that ran for seven years. And followed the Montgomery family and their chain of Sweetie Pie's restaurants. Viewers of the own reality series witness Miss Robbie nurture and help her grandson Andre graduate from high school. In an episode after Andre's passing, Miss Robbie spoke at a memorial service for Andre and she stated that her grandson was murdered by someone he knew. In light of what we know today, Miss Robbie's words are morbidly daunting. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so disgusted with Tim. And um, very, it's one of the hardest things to do. It's change. A lot of times when we get in, it's easy to do right when things when uh, things are going good. But when you get faced up with adversity and challenges and down in valleys, how do you respond? Do you go back to old comfortable behaviors, or do you just roll with the punches? I've learned to roll with the punches. And um, maybe I don't, um, you know, maybe I don't have it, have it uh, all together in terms of, you know, how I, I perceive some of these issues. But I'm sure some of y'all out there, Y'all don't have to have it all together. But could you think of a time where you would get so bad off? I mean, you could remain anonymous. <laughs> you are anyway. And you thought about often your family member. Man. I'd rather roll with the punches. I just can't take it. How y'all feel out there? What about Tim? And what about thinking that black people never kill one another for insurance policy? I guess that's because we didn't have enough money. Because we we blended in so well with the dominant society that there's pretty much no difference in the behaviors. Um, Y'all got mad at me about the video I did about Reverend Bevel. And then it came out later on that he was doing his daughters. But y'all got mad at me way back a long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. On one of the old videos I did about Reverend Bell. Y'all got so mad at me. But the thing is, I had knew somebody who had been molested by him. And I had every reason to believe them. And now to see uh, um, Norman, this Tim Norman, ready to do his mama in next. Y'all better start believing stuff. Just look around you. Try to get out of that group think. 
sometimes you have to think individually and look at a person individually but behavior because if we would have and held him accountable maybe he wouldn't even have got that far oh what a dirty dude Ugh. all right y'all i'm just rambling now so i'm gonna get off of here and i'll see you in the next video